Dennis, the in-season tournament continues tonight against this Magic group. Um, with you guys, if you guys get a victory, it would be 2-1 two, two and one in that tournament group play. Is that an extra motivation to kind of get closer to potentially moving to the next stage? Um, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. I think, you know, I treat every game like it's important, so it's not extra motivation for me. I want to win out of the way. Is there, when you look at just how you guys have overtaken this tournament, do you first reaction thoughts about how it's gone about and like just overall the NBA handling in season? Um, can you say that again? What are your just first reactions to the in season tournament now that we're here and you guys have taken on a couple of games? Uh, it's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. The arena is nice. Um, you know, they changed up the court, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, and I mean, I've, I've seen a couple of other teams play the, the tournament games. and It looked like high-level basketball. They really out there competing, so I appreciate it. And with tonight's Magic group, uh, when you watch the film, what stands out to you about how you guys match up against them and what's going to be some of the big keys? Uh, they're a pretty versatile team. They got a lot of guys that can do multiple things. Like They got big guys who can handle in the pick and roll, um, wings that are handling the pick and roll. And we kind of got the same thing over here, so it should be a good matchup. Um, a lot of cross matches is expected tonight, but uh, we got a pretty good game plan. So if we follow it, we should be able to uh, to have a have a pretty good night. You talked about you said you take you know every game seriously and want to uh -huh. win every game. Do you think the way this team is constructed though, with so many guys that are either one year deal, minimum deal, rookies, this team might be pretty incentivized in this tournament as opposed to maybe some old older veteran team what you mean like 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 they see that they hear that fire in the cave yeah, like i need that not, <laughs> i need that i mean they, anybody you know you'll be a fool to not be like i want to get fire in the cave especially if you just go out and do what you're supposed to do you're supposed to try to win every game so um i'm sure that gives some people some extra motivation like you know what i'm saying i like paper too so i take 500 like i said i take every game serious so uh, we're going to see how it play out. What, is, what has it been about this bench where it seems like whoever comes in the game, the lineups you guys are able to work it out so well chemistry-wise. Um, what is it about this bench where you guys just have that connection, I guess? Uh, we just deep as hell, man. We got so many players that, that have played significant parts, whether it's on another team or, you know, they, they, they know how to hoop. And, um, even somebody, we brought Trenton Watford in real late, and a lot of people are not familiar with him, but Trenton, he's been nice since he was in high school. You know what I'm saying? So he come in and have a real impact on the game, and people are like, what's going on? But that's just who he is. We got a really deep team, and everybody stay ready to play. Like, if they're not playing a lot of minutes, they're going to be in a stay-ready group, doing pickup and things like that. So, you know, we, we, got some, uh, we got a lot of pieces. How do you think uh, it makes it difficult for opposing teams not knowing which of you guys is starting, closing, or with a team that deep, as you mentioned? Uh, that could be kind of tough to game plan for. To be honest, it, it could be tough to game plan for. Like I said, we got versatility, and it's kind of like the Magic tonight. They got a lot of guys that can get it going. So uh, we got to prepare for them probably the same way teams look at us. Like, you don't know who it's going to be tonight, but across the board, you got to have discipline. With some of the injuries to the, the other guards, is that kind of – you kind of embrace the opportunity to be shoulder the load a little bit more, uh, you know, and help out with some of these key guys missing as well. Uh, to be honest, bro, I don't really, I don't really. Uh, I mean, I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't have no expectations. If somebody go down, I'm not expecting my, my my time to go up or anything like that. You know, I just I stay ready, and then whenever I get thrown in there, I do my best. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. With the Magic, their guards playing off of Franz and Paulo really are unique in that they don't take a ton of catch and shoots. It's a lot of catch and go, drive to the rim. How does that put pressure on you guys, especially considering the way you help at the nail and then have to kind of make some long closeouts? We just got to be on the string defensively. We all got to be together. And uh, if we're able to do that, then we'll be able to get some stunts and guys can help each other out. And if we play a real defense, a team defense oriented game tonight, it should be a, a good night for us. With Nick being back, I mean, we know what he can do on the court, but now having him back out there on the court, what does he just add to the group and how great is it to kind of bring him back into the system? I love having Nick out there. Actually, that was, I think that's me and his first time playing together. Like even throughout all training camp, we ain't hooped together. So, um, you know, we got to get some of our time in, right? I messed him up on a couple of his points. You know, I told him I'm going to get him back for that. But he he a dog, man. He a Carolina, he a Carolina boy. 
he gonna come out compete. He stop you, he gonna let you know about it. That's the stuff that I like. And as a team, them the kind of people you need if you really wanna have a, a, a gritty group and um, an in your face attitude, you know, he brain that. So I appreciate it. Going back to the end season tournament, you talked about seeing the court and you like how the NBA has handled it. This will be your first time seeing the court firsthand. You know, it feels like we've been playing the end season tournament games. But it was the first home game for us and the fans. What are you looking forward to the most about having the fans in Barclays and also you seeing firsthand view of the court and how it all looks? Um, I think it's more for the fans, for them to see it. Like, it's pretty dope. When you playing, you ain't really thinking about it too much. You know what I mean? But uh, when I watch the film, it probably look nice on there. <laughs> What's it been like having uh, Cam Johnson back in the next the last couple games? Uh, real floor spacer, real floor spacer. I'm looking forward to him getting it going. Uh, it's kind of tough whenever you miss so many games. Like that's why preseason is important. It's, it's you got to get a rhythm. You know what I mean? And he only had been what back for two games. First game he he played only but so many minutes. Uh, everybody know what he can do. You know whether he's making a miss, you got to respect it. And we all believe that he gonna get it going. I always tell him the next one good. He believed that himself. You know, I really don't see him miss too much outside of the games right now. So everybody got the utmost confidence in him. And, um, you know, he's going to turn around real soon. I'm excited to have him back, too. He's got a pretty damn near perfect repeatable form. I mean, is that just a matter of timing you just chalk this up to? Well, I mean, when he shoots, I, it looks good. That shit look good every time, right? <laughs> but uh, I, he just put in work. He put in a lot of work. You know, I played him in college before he went to UNC. I played him when he was at Pitt. Yeah, and... I told him, it's funny now, like he wasn't even on the scout report, he lit our ass up. And then the next season he transferred to UNC, and I'm just telling everybody, like, I ain't surprised, he killed us last year. You know what I'm saying? He killed us, and he uh, he did his thing at UNC, and he came into the league, and he's been one of the best shooters since he came in. So it's not surprising, man. It's a lot of repetition, I'm sure. Uh, you're going to always see him getting extra work in. So you love to have people like that on your team as well. Thanks, Dennis. Yeah. Thanks, Appreciate it.